Welcome to this video tutorial about the Dolibar ERP and CRM system. In this video, we will look at how to use the Purchase Orders module in Dolibar. Prerequisites Activate the module vendors from menu Home, Setup, Modules. Note that you may be interested in enabling other modules that interact with the vendor's module, such as the module's vendor commercial proposals, invoices, etc., even if these are not required. Grant permission on the vendor's module for your users. For more advanced information on how to set up permissions to users, you can watch our video Users, Groups and Permissions. Creating a purchase order. A purchase order is usually created from a vendor proposal that has been accepted by your vendor. Navigate to the vendor proposal and click on the Create Order button, which is available only for vendor proposals that have been validated and accepted. In this case, the products or services defined in the vendor proposal are copied into the purchase order automatically. When a purchase order is created from a vendor proposal, like any other object created from another one in Dolibar, the purchase order and the vendor proposal remain linked with each other. You can switch at any time from the purchase order to the vendor proposal by using the links visible in the section Related Objects. You can also make some links manually with any other object by using the Link To menu and choosing the object type and object to which the link must be created. You can also create a purchase order from scratch by clicking on New Order and entering all the details manually. Choose the vendor for whom you're creating the purchase order. Choose the payment terms, payment type and planned date of delivery. If the module project is enabled, you can choose a project. Choose a currency, add any public or private notes. Click the Create button to create the purchase order. You can now start adding the actual product or service and pricing information to your purchase order. Add the service name or choose from one of your predefined services. Choose a tax lab, if relevant. Enter the net cost, quantity and any applicable discount. You can add multiple products or services to the purchase order. Validating, approving and sending the purchase order. Once you're done, click on Validate to finalize the purchase order. Now the purchase order can be approved. Approval must be done by a user with the permission for purchase order approval. Note that if the user creating the purchase order has the permission to approve, the validation and approval will be in the same step. Now the purchase order is ready to be sent to your vendor. A default template is used for the generated PDF file. Click on the Send Email button. You can now fill in the receiver details. All other details in the purchase order are automatically included. Record that your purchase has been sent to the vendor. Click on the appropriate button. Fill in the order date, order method and enter any comments to change the purchase order to the ordered status. For recording receivables, use the appropriate button and provide the delivery date, the relevant delivery status and any comment to change the status of delivery corresponding to the purchase order. Note that if you enable the module reception, an enhanced process is also available to follow your vendor deliveries. Purchase Orders Module Features You can use the list view to view the list of purchase orders, the list is categorized based on the status of the purchase orders such as draft, validated, approved, ordered, partially received, all products received, cancelled and refused. The Contacts and Addresses tab can be used to define explicit contacts, either business entities or people, to the purchase order, but this is optional. 
the Item Receipts tab lists all the items dispatched and received as part of the purchase order. Use the Linked Files section to add any file attachments to the purchase order. The Events or Agenda tab will give you a complete list of all past and upcoming events related to the purchase order, such as creation, update, reception, etc. Use the Clone button to create a similar purchase order with all the details prefilled. You can create a reception or invoice from the purchase order by clicking on the appropriate buttons. Invoices are covered in detail in the video tutorial Vendor Invoices. You must decide, based on your own internal workflow, on the order of events according to which you make the reception from the purchase order. You create and send the invoice and you set the purchase order as billed. Like most other Doliba modules, the Doliba process can be customized to work according to how your existing company process works. So you need not change your company process according to Doliba. Statistics gives a bird eye view of how the purchase orders are being fulfilled. Use the filters such as company and vendor to view detailed statistics. In any page of the application, for example on the main dashboard, when the reference of a purchase order is mentioned, an orange flag alerts you when a purchase order is delayed. You can set up an offset, the number of days before or after the expiration date, to decide when the visual late alert must be shown. There are also plenty of other features that can be enabled from the setup, for example, to generate an invoice automatically on purchase order validation or to set a purchase order automatically to the paid status when an invoice is generated thanks to the workflow module or to add a second approver if the amount is higher than a certain value. Also, like most Oliba modules, you can add your own custom fields to describe your purchase orders define default values or mandatory fields and you can use the export module to export your database of purchase orders. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Visit www.dolibar.org to learn more.